Before we start off today's video, I'd just like to say Saturday, June 6th is going to be my 10 hour live stream. I'm going to be streaming a full playthrough of Half Life Alex. Go check it out. It's going to be awesome. It's going to start at 9 a.m. in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, and then end at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be for my 1K special, and I'll see you all there. Peace out, everybody. Enjoy the video. Yo guys, it is Fluffy says here back at it with another Oculus Quest video for you guys today. Today guys, we're going to be talking about the new Universal menu and all the things it has to offer in the 17 update. So the 17 update is rolling out to headsets now. We're going from 16 to 17 and with that comes the Universal menu coming out of experimental mode, meaning you can activate it in your settings. All you have to do is go to settings, go down to about make sure you're in version 17 and you should be able to have it once you make sure you're in version 17 all you have to do is go down to settings go into experimental features take it on and restart your headset along with that you can activate beta releases the new hand tracking which is significantly better now and the auto enable hand tracking that's where if let's say i put these down i'm not using them i mean the my lap probably doesn't work i put them down on a table and they're not in sight and I pull out my hands, poof, I didn't need to turn anything on and hand tracking is initiated. Hand tracking has also gotten much better. It's still not super great. Your hands still need to be mostly in frame of your headset, but your hands will be tracked to the best that the cameras can do. Going through the rest of the experimental features, we have pass through shortcut, which is the double tap on the side of the headset. There we go. So I can double tap and it activates pass through and then you can double tap again. You can do it on either side. It's a bit fidgety so I wouldn't count on it for working but if you're in a pinch you can just do that. And then you have the multitasking Oculus browser. I haven't turned that on yet just because I haven't felt the need to restart my headset. Just use the Oculus browser multitasking. I don't use the Oculus browser that much. If I'm going to look something up it's just on my phone. So that's that when it comes to experimental features and the rest of the settings are mostly the same. As you can see, it's basically just the layout that's changed in the new universal layout. You have everything on the bottom instead of being everything up top. And the best thing, in my opinion, is being able to see the exact battery of each controller. As you can see, 100% for my left controller just replaces batteries and 10% on my right one, meaning it's probably going to die during this video. Navigating the menu at first can be a bit meh, which is why I recommend you use the actual tutorial that oculus gives you just walks you through shows you where everything is but that is also what this will do so right off the bat you'll start and everything will look like this you'll have the home screen and then this is where you can get all your apps from you click the open app one which is always what nine dots means so you open up your apps and you'll be started with the quick start which is all your favorites from here you can go to home and you'll see what you see right now or you can go to my apps and you can pick what app you want from here you can also go to store or from here you can go to store you can also open your browser and your TV so if we go into store it will actually change the whole page and bring you to what the normal store looks like speaking of which quest day because it's the one year anniversary you gotta get your gotta get your games but I'm never one for spending large money on games because I might not play any of the ones in the bag it so that's why I buy games individually ooh Tetris same thing we're going to look at is the browser. The browser for the most part has not changed. It's still mostly the same, um, just a bit different setup. And then back in, so this is where you'll find all your main stuff and they have unknown sources here at the bottom where you can bring up your unknown sources. That's all good and dandy. Next we'll head over to notifications. Now the notifications are actually divided in between four things. You have all so you can see everything. Social, which is your friends' messages. System, which is internal updates and stuff. And then downloads. Downloads, of course, is you downloading things from the Oculus browser and so forth. Your sharing tab is where you're going to find your new ability to record. You're going to look at all your past recordings, your casting, your go live, and your take a photo. Here is where you'll be able to change your guardian and your Wi-Fi settings. This is much better, much easier to play with th play with much easier to play with things um, instead of having to go deep into the menu 
but here you can adjust your audio you can also adjust your lighting make it really dim but I don't know why you'd ever make it dim because they actually added a nighttime display so let's say you're using your quest at night you can turn on the night display I guess if it's really trying to get your eyes to fall asleep you can do this but then it's impossible to see the blacks so I always leave this on max if you want to use it during the night just turn on night display and it actually works perfectly uh, do not disturb will just stop you from getting social messages eh, turn it off and then reset view will just readjust your view to whichever way you're looking and then of course here you can mute your microphone unmute your microphone under settings, you'll have device, which is the same, applications, which is the same, virtual environment, which is the same, experimental features, which is the same, developer mode, which is the same, and about. Next thing we're going to go over is the virtual environments. They added one more besides the four, Quest Dome, Classic Home, Winter Lodge, and Space Station. I'm in Space Station. They added pass-through which just means whenever you're not in anything you can be in your room which I find kinda weird and it's a bit distracting when you know you're trying to record a video Ooh, and it's a bit trippy that looks cool my live on air sign whenever it doesn't have a but yeah you can see your room I personally don't like it too much cuz the black and white contradicts with like the black background for everything which makes it really hard to see Whoa, my controllers are in front, but my hands are behind. Yeah, let's let's turn that off. Tap tap. Oh, that that did not work. That that did not work whatsoever. Oh no, go back to settings. We can turn this off and go back to space station. Oof, much better. But yeah, here you can also quick check to your Wi-Fi. Just click this, and it'll bring up your Wi-Fi. And then right here you also have your time, which is great because the time was much harder to find on the old setup and you always gotta know what time it is when you're spending hours in the VR space, you know what's happening. And so yeah, that's basically all that's come out for the new layout. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, hopefully you guys now know what you're doing and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Peace out everybody, bye.